Hello there. Today we are going to learn about the HACCP principles. So, let's start the video. HACCP is based on seven principles, which are the most important steps in writing a HACCP plan. The first two steps provide the foundation for the HACCP plan. The remaining five steps are the application steps of the HACCP plan and provide the structure for conducting the workings of the HACCP plan in the processing plant. A hazard analysis is a procedure whereby all food processing procedures are examined for their potential to introduce contamination-related risks. The hazard analysis process involves two steps. The first step is to identify all potential dangers. Second, the degree of risk that these dangers bring to food safety is assessed. For instance, a company might identify two potential sources of metallic contamination in its products in accordance with the HACCP 7 principles. 1. When raw materials enter the facility, they already contain metal flecks, and 2. Processing results in equipment wear and tear. The company can therefore draw the conclusion that the risk of machine wear and tear is higher and the risk of the other is lower. A control, a middle step or procedure, is necessary to prevent, eliminate, or reduce the risk of a food safety hazard to an acceptable level. Seven principles of HACCP. Usually, a decision tree is used to find CCPs. In general, the more processing stages that are carried out in a particular food handling facility, the more CCPs will be needed to adequately address contamination risks. For instance, a company might declare that raw material input is a CCP and that all incoming products must be scanned for metallic impurities before processing. The firm may additionally select post-packaging and pre-shipment as another CCP in order to detect any metallic contamination that infiltrated the goods during manufacturing. A critical limit is the highest allowable level for a particular food safety criterion under the seven principles of HACCP, which, if surpassed, indicates an intolerably high risk to food safety. Critical limits are typically expressed in terms of time, temperature, pH, water activity, electrical conductivity, and other characteristics. Procedures for the regular monitoring of critical limits will be put into place at each CCP. The seven principles of HACCP processes describe when and how often the measures will be taken, who is responsible for carrying them out or overseeing them, and what instruments or methods will be used. For example, this stage can involve creating a policy for managing a metal detector that verifies packed goods at the end of the line. Here, it's crucial to choose who will be in charge of routinely inspecting the metal detector's operation and sensitivity. When a parameter at a critical control point deviates from the specified critical limits, according to the seven principles of HACCP, corrective actions must be devised and followed. The primary goal of the corrective actions should be to prevent the potentially harmful food from entering the food chain. However, addressing the hazards underlying cause and preventing a recurrence should be the secondary purpose of the corrective actions. This stage can, for example, require that all units rejected by the metal detector be immediately removed from the production line and placed through a new, more extensive inspection process in order to trace the pollutants back to the source of the hazard. The success of the HACCP plan should be assessed using the seven principles of HACCP procedures, which include process audits, final product inspections, and random sample testing. The verification component of a HACCP plan, for instance, can involve routinely calibrating contamination detection equipment for accuracy to ensure that foreign bodies are reliably identified and rejected. All of the preceding actions should be meticulously documented and maintained on an ongoing basis to show that all food products were produced safely. High-tech contamination detection devices, for instance, have software that automatically generates and maintains reports on each batch that is tested in accordance with digital HACCP. These reports can then be downloaded on a regular basis and stored together with all other papers pertaining to food safety in one spot. The seven principles of HACCP serve as the foundation for all current food safety management systems. HACCP certification stresses food safety as a methodical approach to preventing contamination worries, moving from reactive to proactive control procedures. The basic objective of any HACCP plan is to ensure that food products are as safe as feasible by ensuring that each step of the food handling process was carried out as safely as possible. 
By creating a HACCP plan, organizations in the food sector may identify the procedures and equipment necessary to guarantee the safety of their products. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit our website for more details. The HACCP course link is in the description.